If you guys want some fast, cheap and reliable coins this team of the season, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code CURTIS for 5% off. The perfect way to pick up some of these amazing team of the season players. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a cool little FIFA 14 World Cup Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Today we have a really cool little squad. This squad guys is basically a team of the highest rated players I could put together in my club. Now, the abilities I have would have slightly changed since I actually built this because uh, after I built it and won the cup last night, well almost won the cup, I'll explain that in a second. Um, I then opened a load more packs and did get a few extra players. But uh, I'm going to walk you through each player in the team and at the time of me recording this was the best team I could have built uh, ratings wise. Also if we could hit 500 likes that would be absolutely fantastic guys so please hit that down below. Also sub if you're new around here but let's get stuck into it. So first up we have our goalie, sadly I didn't manage to pull a Nika Casillas at all yesterday, even after spending like so much more uh, last night. But we have Victor Valdez in goal, I'm not really the biggest fan of him, but he actually did alright for me. Now I currently have, let me look, I have 1,123 of the 1,185 players, so I'm 62 short, so there's a lot of squad builders I can build. But uh, in right centre back we have Sergio Ramos, the highest rated Spanish centre back and the second highest centre back on the game, only behind Thiago Silva who is also in this squad. Uh, Ramos it is actually really OP, really, really fun to use. I think I've put him in every squad I've actually used so far just because he's been so solid. Scores loads from corners as well, which is always good to have. Then in the middle, we have PK. Now, again, he's really highly rated, but I'll be honest with you, he isn't actually uh, the best centre-back you can choose. Now, it took me a little while to pull him, but when I eventually did, uh, I stuck him in the middle of the three in the back. And yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. His turning circle was absolutely dreadful. He just seemed like he didn't have any pace at all to him. But when you have Ramos and then Tiago Silva either side of him, you don't really miss out on too much with him. So I guess you can kind of get away with it. But um as I said, Thiago Silva at left centre-back, really, really solid player with that 80 pace, 87 defending, just some really nice, well-rounded stats, and was just really, really overpowered for me, which is always good to have. Now, like I said, guys, this is based off the highest ratings, not necessarily the best players in each position. So, in central defensive mid, we have Cesc Fabregas. I did actually pull an Iniesta later on in the day, so I guess you can bump that up to, what was it, 89 that uh, Iniesta is. So, um, yeah, so that's that. But uh, like I was saying, I will quickly say this now while the next two players are loading up on the screen. Um, I did basically win the World Cup with this team. Now, I got to the final. I was 30 minutes in. I was tweeting about it. I went absolutely mad. I went 3-0 up in 30 minutes. The guy paused it. It disconnected. I assumed he quit. But I got the loss from it. So I don't know how that even worked out. Uh, luckily, the next time I then tried, I won it. But that was with a different team. But we have Ramirez in defensive mid. He is really, really good. And he is mainly in there for chemistry. But I do also think he may be the highest uh, defensive mid that's actually any good from Brazil. Then left mid, we have Neymar. As you'll see on the bench as well, we've got Robin and Ribery. Obviously, they're highly rated ones, which are pushing up the overall team rating, which is useful. Um... Yeah, Neymar really, really solid in the right mid. Really enjoyed using him. Uh, just seemed like just a really solid, sound player. Uh, in right wing, now we have David Silva. Not really a fan of him. I think he's a lot better in cam and uh, didn't really seem to do a right lot on the right mid for me. His finishing was nice at having on that side. I did actually score one nice finesse with him. But in general, his dribbling and passing, his like, lack of pace, just didn't really seem to do a right lot for me out on the right mid. Uh, in Cam, we have Oscar. Really, really like this player. Really, really fun to use. He's an 84 rated as well, like he is now on Ultimate Team. So, a really, really just like nice, well rounded. Uh, only problem is, he's a little bit short and not that strong. But. I found that I didn't really care about that. It didn't really make a difference. And he was just putting loads of really, really good balls through to the two strikers, which you're going to see now. Number one is Luis Suarez. And you're going to see in a second as well, we have Cavani. Now, they linked up really nicely together. The uh, the kind of short and tall, excuse me, was uh, really nice. Uh, Suarez having four-star skills, which is a shame because EA said he had five-star skills in their preview, which is just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, his finishing was really good. His dribbling was really solid. Uh, good pace. And, obviously, as you can see there with Cavani, when they linked up together, they both had really fantastic finishing, both had great dribbling, uh, the skills from uh, Suarez were really useful, the knockdowns and stuff from Cavani, just together, they worked really, really nicely, and obviously the strength of Cavani as well is something I really like to have in my striker, so... In general, we have a five-star skillet in Neymar, four-star skillet in Silva and Oscar and Suarez. And I believe Cavani is just three-star skill. So, uh, a few good people to choose from four skills. Uh, I mean, you can even do, like, just solid three-star skills, as you saw there with uh, Ramirez. But, um, in general, the team actually played really nicely. It was really fun to use. I'm not sure if it's because some people don't actually have any good squads yet to, uh, to compare them with. But, I mean, comparatively, like Oscar there, a lovely little ball through to Suarez, who's always going to put those away. His finishing was so good. 
good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it just it seemed really fun just to play with, and it like uh, despite them not all being like necessarily the best players playing wise, rating wise, they were the best, and in general they played all right. PK was probably the biggest letdown, but other than that, David Silva, meh. But everyone else kind of. Uh, Kind of covered for them, and it was just still really easy and really fun to play them, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, nice little header there, but I could, that's the sort of thing you had in this team. There was a lot of different aspects to it. You had the skill, you have the pace, you have the finishing, the strength, the height, loads of different bits, and uh, I personally really enjoyed using this team, and if you have these players, guys, I would actually give it a go, because it's a good bit of fun, but this is the highest rated squad I can build in FIFA 14. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Some of you new around here, have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.